Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler and welcome to my first of three recap videos from the Sports Card Showcase that was held on Friday, August 16th. This was an older flyer. Saturday, August 17th and Sunday, August 18th. The next show, the same location. It's Friday, Saturday, at least as of right now, which is great because I cannot do Sunday shows. But we have, there's the location... Address, over 400 tables, free admission, free parking. There's your website. So, Bryce, you do great work. Mark, you're wonderful with the advertising as well. So, I'm going to have three videos. There were 12 transactions from eight different sellers. And this video is going to show quite a few of these. So, these are going to be your trading cards that are, you know... We have TTM fuel and PC purposes. It's the majority of the trading cards that's going to be shown to you here. So the first transaction I had, my buddy Papa's cards and I went down there. And before Scott got there from Reindeer Studios, you know, I didn't want to go digging through boxes when all of us were there. So I got a little bit of box digging done early. So the first place I went to, I got 27 cards of mostly TTM fuel, but some baseball rookie cards for my PC. $63 total. I end up paying $57. So what we have here is a 1957 Yankees team card. That's got Bobby Richardson's name written all over it, along with the 1958 team card. So then I picked up more TTM fuel. I was specifically looking for these players here. I'm trying to complete the player run. So I got one of his. Got the Frank Bork to send out. Just realized he was signing, so I picked up some of his cards, which go back to the 60s and 70s. So I'd say I'd like to show the price tag if possible there. So these are all guys that are signing. These are guys I specifically picked up because I realized they were signing and I didn't know it, so I need to get some cards of them. So very good. Bunch of dollar cards here. it will pick up in a moment. Well, not, not too much. Mostly the same players here. Bob Reynolds signs. So then I saw the quad cards here, the football cards. So it's like, well, Billy Kilmer signs. Craig Bainham signs. He doesn't have many cards. Tom Beer signs. Dick Hoke signs. Okay, on to some PC here. This was a $2 Barry Bonds rookie. We got a Billy Ripken here with the word covered up. Four bucks, and the rest of these were all a dollar. Well, most of them were a dollar. The Vizcayal rookies, he started signing TTM at Jim Tomey's for PC. And I couldn't remember if 92 was considered a rookie or not. He probably had a card in 91 foot for a buck, and the gold one for three bucks is like, why the heck not? I'll get a second, second year of Pudge Rodriguez. And I have a friend who likes Don Mattingly, so I think I know where this card's going to go. It's Moo Town Snackers? Um... Yeah, sure. <laughs> so that was my first little purchase there. The big cards, obviously, were the first two, the 57 and 58 Yankees team cards there as I'm trying to work on the Bobby Richardson run. The next transaction I had was the autograph through one of their guests there. That'll be on next video. Then coming up, the next transaction I had was... Um, Scott and I had met up at that point, and, you know, I saw this Elroy face card from the dealer AJ, who's frequently at the show, has got a ridiculous amount of vintage, and it's like, what the heck? Promoting in 1975 the Mid-Atlantic Sports Collectors Association. Okay, very cool. I would love to send out and get signed. Then there was another dealer who I've bought from before who recognizes me. As, I mean, that's cool. I wanted a Bob Greasy rookie card to send out, and this one is, ouch, paid $15 for it. He gives me a nice deal, and realistically, that's probably what this should be, considering the condition of that card, but I don't want it to be all that amazing, because I just want to send it out TTM, and they'll get a little bit damaged. Next up was, uh, I actually gave this person repeat business. They do really good work. I appreciate it. B&R, you do good. You show up at all the Pittsburgh shows, it seems like, or at least most of them. And kind of pitiful, but I didn't want to dig through boxes. I did not want to dig through boxes, but I saw these. All four guys signed TTM. 
I got a one that I got one that's quad signed. I want to get one that's signed by each of them. So it's like, well, they're a buck a piece, and he uh, said they're free. That's the teacher discounts free. Those those three are free. He didn't even charge me for them. That was so nice. I've never had something like that happen before. So uh, BNR, thank you. Now I did give him a little bit of business later on, but uh, moving around a little more, we saw a box that had some autographed cards that were labeled as two-thirds off. So, when I saw this Jason Kendall from Signature Rookies, I really should take these cards out of the holders due to the glare, but that's okay. You can see it is numbered. Signature Rookies back in the mid-90s, they were amazing. <laughs> Paid 10 bucks for a Jason Kendall, Jason Kendall signed card. And then I went over to... Scooter's Corner, whom it was actually, I'd say, his friend that also sells with them. I believe both of these were his cards, because <laughs> he sells a lot of the pirate cards. And I picked up the Jim Leland, 60, 86, Topps Trade Rookie for 5 bucks, and then this, <clears throat> 1967 Laughlin cards. In the early 70s, <clears throat> they made these types of cards, but this predated those. I never saw this card before. I think it's hilarious. I love it. Yes, three of a kind, four of a kind. Yankees versus Pirates. The Pirates all looking beat up there, and there he is. Oh my gosh. Bucks got clobbered and win. It's so amazing. They won the World Series there. Um... When that World Series was over, Mickey Mantle was crying. Uh, Mazeroski hit that home run, the walk-off, Game 7. I love that card. I want to send that card out to Bill Mazeroski. I really want to send it out to them. Um, next up, I bought two train cards, but I went back to this person. It was from Aikens Brothers Cards. There's their information there. Bought a bunch of 52 Tops baseball cards off of them last time, and they remembered me. But I didn't buy much. I just um, needed a couple more TTM cards. This was one of the guys I needed, and that is a high number. So that was good to pick that up there. So this ended up setting me back 2 bucks and 6 bucks. so 8 bucks for both of those. That's not bad for a high number. So then I went back around, and I saw AJ's booth again. Had a little more time. I picked up two of these KDKA Steelers cards here. They're a little bit longer and narrower than the typical trading card here, but Roy Jefferson does sign, and so does Dick Shiner. It's a great name. So I'd love to send these two out to get signed. Went back to B&R Cards and Coins, and it's like... I was looking around and I thought, well, the lowest price I saw for a Paul Skeen's first Bowman paper was 10 bucks. Let's buy another one. Let's buy one off. Give them a little bit of business because why not? They were super good to me. And then it happened. Then it happened. Um, I hit the $250 golden ticket. So Scott and I were walking around and we went past Bryce's booth again and... We saw the names. We saw the names that were posted. And I saw my name at the very bottom of that. Got all excited. And they said I won the $250 golden ticket. That will be a separate video. But um, I then, after doing the golden ticket, I bought one more thing on our way out the door. All three of us bought something, Papa's Cards, Scott from Reindeer Series, and myself. I bought this number to 15. I believe this is 2024 Leaf. 2024 Leaf Sluggers Quad Bat card, numbered to 15. Barry Bonds, Dave Parker, Bobby Bonilla, Bill Madlock, all former Pirates. And what I love the most about this card... There's no picture of Barry Bonds. There's a picture of the R3, but not Barry Bonds. I'm not a very big Barry Bonds fan. He was a jerk. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Pirates fans know. Can't take away what he accomplished, though. But it's like, yeah, he's a, he's a jerk. And that's hilarious. Like, there's a picture of the R3, but not him. That made me love this card. So I picked that one up to end the show. So I, I have a second video that's going to show 
the in-person autograph along with all the other autographs that are on this item. If you're a wrestling fan, you'll definitely enjoy it. And video three will be the golden ticket showing the item that I purchased. There are the two items that I purchased with the $250 golden ticket. I only spent $211 at this show. Yet, you know, I got over $500 worth of stuff. Well, that's because of the uh, $250 golden ticket. So let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. This had a lot of good stuff to look at. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday and an autograph and or trading card video such as this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.